Peter Ily Tchaikovsky was born in 1840 in Vodkinsk, a dust industrial town. At that time, Russia had no system for public education music and little opportunity for a musical career. His family is a traditional military family and when he grown up, he received an education in law. Despite his non-musical background, he showed a keen interest in music and become one of the world's greatest composers in the Romantic era. During his whole life, he created a large amount of classical pieces such as Sleeping Beauty and Swan Lake. However, life as a musician was no smooth sailing for Tchaikovsky. Throughout his professional career, he was judged mercilessly and many of his finest works were harshly criticized. His only concerto for violin, Violin Concerto in D Major, Op. 35, was written in 1878, but it was refused to be performed by Leopold Auer. Auer doubted its intrinsic worth and said it's impractical. This piece was performed a full three years later by Adolf Brodsky in Vienna, but even then the piece was criticized as arduously Russian and the violin was not played, but beaten black and blue. Despite harsh criticism, Tchaikovsky continued his composition. Meantime, Tchaikovsky also suffered from irrational stage fright. He reportedly held his head while conducting because he feared that it would detach from his body. This phobia lasted until 8087. He finally conquered it during the premiere of his opera Cherubitschki. In 1891, he was invited to the U.S. for the inauguration of Carnegie Hall in New York City. During his visiting, he successfully conducted before audiences in New York, Baltimore and Philadelphia. Russian-born composer Igor Stravinsky said, Tchaikovsky drew unconsciously from the true popular sources of our race. Many audiences claim that his music touches their hearts perhaps after knowing his courage in facing up to criticism and determination to continue his music career, we can appreciate his work to an even greater extent. <laughs>